Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Trick. Didn't mean to make a video for this, but I had it up in the corner. I've been playing with it, and somebody saw it on one of my videos and asked how I made that. So I thought I'd go ahead and just, uh, I don't think it's that cool, or I would have already made a video. I made it several days ago. I'm going to hit, I'm going to draw an ellipse and hit P. I'm going to draw and hit P. I want this thing to be top dead center. Now, if you haven't watched my videos where me and Mr. Roy Brewer came up with a rotation, so it's in the center of the page, alternate C, and if you look, now it's in the center of the page. We're not going to rotate it. We're going to, we are, but we're going to go to the Docker rotation, Docker transform or transformation, 22 and a half degrees, 15 times because we want 16. Now, what I like about this, I can just delete that line. Now I can select all these and I need to go to object and combine them. And then I can make them a color. And I'm actually going to take that and I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm going to move it out of the way. Now I can take my interactive fill tool and I'm just going to swipe across. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted to say that color. So I'm going to red, give back to interactive fill tool and put, let's put a blue on this side. And I just want to make a bunch of weird rainbow colors, uh, not necessarily anything uh, particular order. You know, the more you use, I think the better it's going to look. You know, we could uh, do a lot. Well, I'm a little trouble getting to the line. There we go. Let's add another blue, add another yellow. And you could, you could keep playing with this uh, and put as many as you want. But now what we're going to, I'm going to take, take away the outline, uh, right clicking, and it's all together, so it's good. It's combined. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate while holding down the shift key. I'm going to bring that in. But I, I made some videos a while back about this. I'm going to take my interactive fill tool and I'm going to go right here. I'm going to reverse the colors. Now we're going to select it all. We'll close down the transformation docker. We're going to go to effects and blend. And we're going to blend them 500 times. And look at that. Now it doesn't look as cool toward the bottom. Um, you know, I could have added more colors or you could maybe let's try this. Let's try just rotating this a little bit. So it won't be exactly and the blend is going to pick that up that's whoa that's pretty cool in a way i think i like this one better but then what i can do is if you remember i made a copy of this so i can bring it right back up we're going to have to put it in the back of the page for a second well for good now i've still got it selected whoop I don't have it anymore now that I did that. Normally your last keystroke is going to let you select it. So I'm going to go to the extrude tool and I'm going to extrude this downwardly like that. And because this is going to be, and then I'm going to actually right click and give it an outline. Well, I've got to go to object, got to select it all, go to object, break the extrude apart then select it and then give it a black outline and then put this back and you get that effect that it's like the red is coming up. I do not like the interactive fill tool, uh, but you know, you can always change that. Um, since we blended it, well, I guess I'd have to back up completely. Let's just back. I do not like that. It did look kind of cool at first, but not necessary. Um, you know what? I'm just going to back up again where it's rotated and see what it looks like. And you could actually have it off center. I like that better. And then you could just do not nudge this, but I can move it over and I can go to extrude now. And this, you kind of understand why I didn't try to make a video of this. It's not that big a deal. But when we select it and put it, I think the outline makes it really pop. Now it's the last thing we created. 
So you've got to go to order and put it to the back of the peg. So it kind of looks like these pedals or whatever they are are sticking up, you know, and this is what the top. I like my first one better, and that's normally the way it works out. Anyway, I hope that impressed somebody a little bit. Thank you for watching.